So after two long years, we are finally gonna be installing a fully automatic gate opener on our front gate. So we partnered up with T-Opens and they provided a complete solar powered automatic gate opener kit for us. Now we're gonna unbox this kit, we're gonna go through and review all the parts and we're gonna get it installed and I'll share everything with you guys. Let's get started. This will be the first time I've installed a gate opener and everything that we have here on the table was provided by T-Opens as a complete gate kit. We did go with the solar option, so that's gonna throw in a couple extra components. So I'm gonna get everything unboxed, see what we have, lay everything out on the table. That way we can get it organized and make sure we have everything that we need. First up is the actual motor. There's a big old box of instructions. I'm sure we will get into those. And this thing does have some weight on it. Couple extra boxes down here. First box is junction box with our key fobs. So we got our two gate opener key fobs. All right, this is gonna be your hardware kit. Looks like to actually mount the motor. So here's your main box for all the power. Second to last box is our wireless keypad. Guests can just enter in a code to open the gate. So that's definitely a nice option. I'm glad we have. The last box should be the um, solar panels for charging. Looks like we have two solar panels in here. This will be my first time using a solar power system of any kind. So I'm hoping for an easy setup on this one. So this, they sent extra. This is not included in the standard gate opener kit. This is your exiting one for the inside. Like if I'm driving to the gate, instead of having to hit the button, this is buried a couple inches below ground beside the driveway. Automatically open your gate so you can leave your house. This is gonna be a cool setup. So here's a complete kit laid out on the table. There is quite a few pieces, but everything looks to be pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. And of course it comes with directions. So the first thing we're gonna do is get started mounting the motor. These directions are pretty particular on how they want this installed, especially the spacing, because when it does open and close, it has to stop and start at a certain precise location. And there's only a couple inches of variance that you can have when you install this. So now we've isolated the correct arm that we're using for our inward swing. T-Opens recommends we install and bolt up all this hardware to the gate opener, and then we can simply take some clamps and mount it in location and check our measurements before we drill. We're gonna mount it about midway up from top to bottom. I believe that's about where you want it. So what we're gonna do is clamp the post side right now, and then we'll clamp the gate side and start getting some measurements on this thing and see how we're, how we're laying. We almost forgot a crucial step. This gate motor has to be fully extended when the gate is in the closed position. So they provide this little key, simply release the motor, and then this will be able to ex extend manually. So we're gonna extend it all the way out. So the motor will be fully extended when the gate is closed. This is where you get to some crucial points on measurements. So right here, guys, is what we're shooting for. From your pivot point to the pivot point on the motor, right there to right there, that length is gonna be A, and B is gonna be from the pivot point to the end of the motor. So right here, what I did to make this a little easier, as you can see, my pivot point is not right here on the gate. It's actually right here on the hinge. So I put a wood clamp. That is the A span. And then the B span is from this pivot point to the corner of the motor right here. So these two measurements for me worked out perfectly. This did take a little bit of adjustment. And once, that, once those measurements are good, we're gonna get this thing mounted up and then we can get it level. So now we're gonna open it, make sure we unlock our motor. And this way we can make sure that it will fully close and fully open without anything binding up. It looks like ours will work perfectly. Maybe a tiny bit of adjustments, but the tiny bit of adjustments that I might need is in the bracketry.
The gate motor is installed. We have two of these black boxes left to install. It's super hot outside, so I'm gonna open these up and see what we're working with. One of these is the uninterrupted power supply junction box, and the other one is the control unit they're calling. So these have a pretty good amount of wires coming out of them. So we're gonna get this laid out and see if we can get these wires kind of dialed in a little better and see exactly where they need to go, and then we'll get these boxes mounted. So luckily on top of the box, it actually tells you where everything is supposed to go. So it looks like we have our normal 110 plug if you wanna plug it in straight to power. We're not using this, we're doing solar battery powered only. So right here, it looks like our solar in. This third one is our battery in. So this must be where the batteries tie into. And the last one is our load out. So this is the load out. So this must go back to this control panel, power this thing up. And this one also goes to the batteries. And the last thing that we're installing is the batteries. Now this is the only thing that T-Opens does not supply in their kits. You have to purchase your batteries separately. They do not stock these at all, but there is a requirement for the batteries they want. For your solar power system, you gotta have a 24 volt, 17 amp hour battery minimum. I got two 12 volt batteries. These are 20 amp minimum on each of these. So we are gonna wire these up to make a 24 volt battery. And we'll go over that wiring method in just a second when I get these installed. So these batteries are gonna be stored in this outdoor weather type box. This is just one I found on Amazon. It was about 18 bucks. I'll put the link to these batteries and this box in the description below for you guys to go check that out. So we're gonna try and keep these off the ground. That way it's clear of the lawnmower and a weed eater and get them a good safe home. Next we have our solar connections out of the junction box. These are gonna wire directly up to our solar panels. I'm gonna do temporary connections on anything I have to now. Then once it's all hooked up and working properly and everything's functioning good, then we'll address the wire length. The next step is gonna be getting our batteries hooked up so we can have some power. Now these are 12 volt. We're gonna make one jumper wire to jump across these to connect them to make them 24. So to make two 12 volt batteries into 24 volt, it's pretty simple. All you do is tie one negative from one battery and the other battery tie it to the positive. So we're gonna put this wire right here, jumping these two terminals, we're gonna pull our power off this negative and positive and that will create 24 volts. Battery's hooked up and I can see we have power on the flashing red light on the junction box. The last component we have hooked up is our exit wand, but per the directions, it says to fully set the gate functions before you add this. So let's get the other directions out and go ahead and set up the parameters on this gate box. So we got two of the key fobs. We're gonna program these first. And then lastly, we also got the wireless um, gate opener from the outside. We'll program this last. So these two remotes are now programmed. Now let's see if it works. It works perfect now, open and closed. But as you can see, we have this big gap right here. So I want to adjust the brackets on the motor to allow the gate to stop exactly on this post where I want it. And to do that, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is remove this one adjuster bolt right here. We take this out and this arm will actually twist or spin so we can get the motor lined up or the gate lined up exactly where you want it. So we loosened our center bolt we pulled the little bolt out that holds the location of the arm. We let the gate naturally kind of come back to the position it needs to be in. And luckily we lined up with another hole. So we dropped our holding bolt down in there and we'll lock it down as well. And you can see the end of the gate is exactly where we need it. It actually might even allow for a little bit of adjustment. Let's do a test, see if it works. So what we're going for here is about 90 degrees opening or a little bit more. So we want it to stop 
right here on the driveway, you know, preferably a little bit in the grass, a little bit wider open, that way you can get around there with the trailer. But it should stop. And there's also a auto close switch I switched on. So it should give it 20 seconds and then it should auto close. If that happens, then we are tied in and everything is working perfect. Yes. So we auto closed, it opened fully a little bit above 90 degrees. And then we also landed exactly where I wanted to be in the closed position. So the only thing I have to figure out now is some kind of locking mechanism for the gate when it is shut, like if we're out of town for a little while, but it's all complete. The remotes are programmed. Everything's working perfect. The last thing we have to do is install this um, exit wand that has a 50 foot cable. So plenty of space to run as far back as you want. Our gate opens and the end is about right here. So you can imagine a vehicle, maybe about 10 feet past that, about right here. This is the last wire to tie in, and this is actually tying in a sensor dial for the automatic uh, wand opening strip. So this will be adjustable minimum and max on how big the radius on the wand is or how sensitive it is, I guess. So we're gonna put it on a max to start with. So we got all the components hooked up and everything is working great. The last thing we have to do is test our driveway wand before we bury it. It's located about right here. So I'm gonna get in the truck and hopefully this will activate the gate. <laughs> yes, sir, I'd say that works great. Awesome, that worked great. Now we gotta button everything up and bury this wand. So the last thing we have to do is mount our solar panels. I'm gonna mount these two guys on the inside of our fence, just below the top rail of my fence, angled towards the sun. So that sums up another project. A huge shout out and thank you to T-Opens for providing this complete solar powered gate opener kit. If you want to check out more info and in details on everything I use, including this gate opener kit, the link will be down in the description below along with T-Opens website. There will also be a Project Dad Life discount code for all my followers. You guys go check that out. As usual, thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next project.